It's a, a very special privilege of me to, to tell you about a, a very special patient. Um, this is a, a lady, she's a strong lady, uh, but she, unfortunately she, she had a, a fall. She took a fall from a ladder. She'd had some problems with this arm, and I'm showing you x-rays of her left arm. And unfortunately she had uh, some attempts at an outside hospital at getting this fracture to heal. She had a fracture of both her radius and ulna, both bones just below the wrist. And unfortunately, not only did she go on to have problems healing this bone, over time, because it wasn't healing, it also started to angulate and became malunited or not correctly aligned. So this is an arm that, in a very active lady who's become not functional and not really shaped how it's supposed to. And the yellow line is where she was, and the red line is where it's supposed to be. So not only not healed, but not correctly aligned. And this is a patient who, had, again, who had had several operations, the soft tissues being very compromised at the surgery site, I think three operations. You know, this is one person who really needed something special and we thought would be a great candidate for our bone marrow concentrate study. And this is what we did to her. We realigned her bones, and you can see here, we actually, and there's some, uh, in some of you can see some hazy, cottony type material, which is actually the, the graft that we used to deliver some of those bone marrow derived cells, and, and we realigned her. And uh, she has gone on to, to heal well from that procedure. And so she's a lady, I think, who really benefited from our ability to do early translation with mesenchymal stem cell technology. And so, that special patient is actually here today, and so it's, it's, it's again, a special honor for me to now uh, introduce uh, Diana Souza, whose x-rays you just saw, who uh, was able to take advantage of the technology we have here. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lee. And thank you to the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine for inviting me to speak to you today. I am very grateful and extremely honored to be here this afternoon because I think it is so important to tell you about my life and why stem cell research is so important for people just like me. I also want to thank you for hosting public information sessions like this one, creating awareness about the incredible stem cell research taking place in California is extremely important. I had the good fortune to learn about Dr. Mark Lee's innovative stem cell work from my daughter's mother-in-law, Leilani Corral, who worked in biotechnology research at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, and she was very plugged into the latest news about regenerative medicine. This spotlight on disease is another important way to share the news about stem cell research and the benefits it might provide to patients around the state throughout our nation and even around the world. So I feel let's keep this going and let's keep up the good work. I am here today representing hundreds of people who unfortunately find themselves with a fracture that will just not heal or has not healed correctly. No one should have to live in fear of this. This problem is especially troubling for older people where quality of life can be severely impacted by a never-ending recuperation process. I have friends and also have certainly heard many stories about people who have broken a leg or a hip and they quickly see their lives diminish as they found themselves unable to take care of even the most basic needs. The cost of treatments, therapies and nursing assistance and support immediately becomes an overwhelming problem for those who suffer such debilitating injuries. For me, living on a 23-acre ranch in the mountains east of Reading had long kept me fit, healthy, and happy. Then in 2005, my husband passed away and I had more responsibilities. I was doing too much and getting hurt too often. I broke my arm the first time in my early 20s, the second time shortly after my husband passed away, and the third time just this last year. My arm was a complete mess. This fracture could not be easily repaired because of the three previous surgeries with complications and many casts. I faced a very real possibility of being left with only one working arm at a home and on a beautiful piece of property that needs a type of labor that gives much joy to my life. 
Fortunately, I found out about Dr. Markley's clinical trial to help heal badly broken bones. When I brought him my x-rays, I was so embarrassed and ashamed because my arm was deformed. It was very, very crooked. I think even Dr. Lee was stunned at the challenges he faced, but Dr. Lee looked at me and he said with such confidence, Diana, I can fix your arm. There was so much trauma to the bones in my arm because of the previous surgeries using metal plates and screws. It actually, to me, looked like Swiss cheese, just full of holes and gaps where the bone was not growing together. It looked absolutely very unhealthy. Dr. Lee didn't have a lot to work with, so I was thrilled when he confidently told me he could help me. And it was his clinical research using stem cells that I think made the biggest difference in my case. I still had to undergo a lengthy surgery. It was about six hours and somewhat painful recovery. But as I think Dr. Lee has already noted, he could have not accomplished nearly as much and enabled my weak and unhealthy bones to repair themselves without using the stem cells he extracted from my bone marrow to fill in the holes and gaps in my bone, which strengthened the bone and finally allowed my arm to heal properly and look normal. That surgery took place just last fall. Today I'm back at the ranch much stronger, outside nearly every day, taking Dr. Lee's advice, and I hired a helper. <laughs> And I am healing. I'm healing quite well. My friends cannot believe the difference in my physical strength and well-being. And I cannot believe the difference. It is incredible after living with such damaged, deformed, and unhealthy arm for so long. Those stem cells and Dr. Lee and his surgery team have given me great hope and optimism. It is really a new lease on life for me. I'm looking forward to getting back better range of motion and renewed strength. And Dr. Lee's research offers incredible hope to others like me who suffer these types of terrible bone fractures every year. I can only imagine the advances that will be made in the near future. Again, thank you so much for including me in this program. I am thankful for pioneering physicians like Dr. Lee and I am very appreciative of a pioneering agency like the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine. Your mission and work represents the promise of finding innovative solutions and cures for our most challenging health problems. Thank you so much.